I saw the video. Yeah. yeah. And um, I knew it was fake when he made five in a row. I thought three in a row, you know, he could do that, but not five in a row. What? It was a neat video though, wasn't it? Did you, did you get a kick out of it? It was, uh, I, I think um, just the fact that it's Steph made people pause and wonder if it was real. So that's all you need to know about, about Steph. So pretty remarkable. Jordan will start for him, but it opens up minutes for Moses Moody, who played really well uh, the other night. Um, and, um, you know, our our other usual reserves who are, will be ready to go, Dante and uh, Jonathan Kaminga, um, Anthony Lamb, you know, you'll see some combination of, of those guys out there, depending on who's clicking, what what lineup is clicking, but they're all ready to go and ready to to fill in for, for Steve tonight uh, was the sixth anniversary of the clay game where he had 60 and 29 minutes. It was a Monday night. It was against Indiana kind of weird just with the Pacers here, but what, what do you remember about that game specifically and just how he was able to do that? I remember people being mad at me for not keeping him out there on the floor uh, <laughs> so that he could try to get 70, but uh, we had a big lead and uh, you know, at the end of the third, it was, clear cut we were going to win the game so um it's an easy decision but um i just remember and and we've seen clay get hot a lot over the years but there's a few games that that stand out that's one of them you know the the big quarter against sacramento is another uh where he's just he's not just hot he's like unconscious you know and and um that was a magical night everybody could feel it the fans uh his teammates um Steph was running up and down the sidelines going crazy. And uh, yeah, those are, those are some of my favorite uh, memories, um, you know, coaching this team is uh, when, when clay gets like that, it's uh, there's kind of a magic in the air. Steve, what does it say that you're now more than a quarter of the way into the season and your point guard is your number two rebounder? It's, it sounds to me like you're trying to take me someplace where I don't really want to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just curious. I mean, not so much about the other guys, but about Steph being yeah. your number two rebound. Well, he's got great anticipation. Um, I think part of being a great athlete um, is, you know, balance and hand-eye coordination and anticipation, reading things. And that's why I, I maintain, you know, Steph's one of the great athletes in the world. People usually think of you know how fast you are, how high you can jump, but but Steph's athleticism is um, multifaceted, and um, part of that athleticism is just his uh, ability to uh, quickly decipher what's happening in front of him, and a lot of that is um, you know leading to rebounds at both ends, offensive and defensive. Uh, and the defensive ones, you know, he seems to be getting a, a running start right through the the rebound, and now he's pushing it, throwing it ahead, and it's turning into, you know, great offensive possessions. So it's just another area of his game where Steph excels.